The best way to look at this is kind of think, they call it a, a, a flat tire shuffle. That's what it's called in country music. It's called that in the blues. They use that term in rockabilly. And basically it has this sound of da, da, ga, da, ga, da, ga, da, ga, da, ga, da, ga, like that, okay? And so basically I'm gonna take my same bass line that I did uh, last chapter with the Willie Dixon will be in the key of G. Okay, this time I'm adding. Okay, sounds like a flat tire, right? know that George Jones White Lightning classic country song from 1959 and to me probably one of the coolest slap bass intros of all time okay or it works really well like if you get uh, tossed a solo in say like a Johnny Cash song or a bluegrass song to be playing a solo and I'm getting real busy at the beginning or in the middle, uh, maybe right before we get to the end, I kind of want to just uh, cool it down a little bit. And I'll use this quarter note triplet. So once again, Steve Brown solo from Dinah, 1926 version by the John Gold Kett Orchestra. Uh, that's a mouthful right there. You can play lines such as. Uh, okay, something like that. All right, Johnny and Jack, I Can Never Come Back to You, played by the late, great Joe Zinkin. Gonna dance all night, Hard Rock Gunter, very cool bass solo. We just have a kind of typical walking bass line. Key of C. And he's gonna create this double time effect using this lick that goes like this. Something like that, basically. Slowly.